Hello and welcome to this episode where we will talk about the Thief class in Might and Magic 7. Let's jump right into it and as you can see uh, the default party in Might and Magic 7 is actually includes actually a thief and that is why with the thief and if you're not very into this game a thief could be very useful actually because of this skill uh, disarm trap at grandmaster level and i think you have to promote your thief though to to get that skill and the pr first promotion can be a bit tricky if you don't have the invisibility skill or the spell uh, it's you are going to steal a waste uh, inside a dungeon which there are very good creature in actually so if you don't have invisibility and even it may want the tone portal also actually uh, then it could be very hard but it's totally do doable the late uh, the late promotion the last promotion is very easy especially in dark path you're going up to celeste and you're going to kill a person and then go down again so that's easy you can do that very easy so the promotions and the progression of this class is pretty easy and it's a pretty decent uh, fighter also actually um, the thief uh, can use dagger at grandmaster level and that's pretty good combined with the um, um, arms master skill he can only expert level the arms master um, but he can use the sword too uh, but he only can master it so I really recommend go with daggers there are some pretty good daggers in this game too especially if you find the vampiric daggers then your thief will be very strong melee combat you can expert bow, which is not very good. You at least need master for the bow skill. If you want, you can teach your thief master merchant. And there are one useless skill in this game, which the thief starts with. And that's the stealing skill. Uh, you will get thrown to prison if you are unlucky and steal something and get caught. And that's not very good because you really rely on uh, time events in this game. And you can actually miss out big portions of the game if you get to prison. And by stealing things you can get cast out of shops and you can't shop there anymore. And of course you can get to prison. So that's not very good skill. You can steal from shops, but you can't sell stolen goods. So you have to use the steal the things you stole. Or you have to throw them away if you don't want to use them. So it's not very useful that skill. Um, you can master identify item if you want. He's like, um, well, he can alchemy, learn alchemy at expert, which is not very useful. He can have perception at master, which is okay if you want that. I, I don't think the thief actually are very useful. You can, he's very expendable to your party. You can change him out with any other class. Um, you can't really use him as your tank. But he will be okay later, and he can learn expert level in um, uh, the uh, schools of magic, fire, air, and water when he's fully promoted. But he will not have that much spell points that he really can benefit from that. So he actually strength is disarm trap grandmaster and leather grandmaster. And Dagger, Grandmaster. Those three Grandmaster skills makes the Thief very good. 
and but it's not very important to have a thief. He makes your games a bit easier, uh, but damage wise, you can have other classes that outclass him very much. And disarm trap skill, you can um, substitute with telekinesis. And you can actually find items that boost your disarm trap that much that you don't need the Grandmaster skill actually. Or you, you can just have so tanky characters that you can just open the traps and let them explode in your face. And it doesn't matter because you are invincible. <laughs> so <laughs> this disarm trap skill is it's actually more useful in the early game. Where the traps actually deal a lot of damage. Uh, later, you really can take a trap in your face if you want. So, disarm trap, very useful early game, not very useful in late game. So, what uh, rank will I give the thief? I actually will give the rank of three because of um, his late game. Uh, he's not very useful, he's outranked by other melee characters damage wise, the daggers are okay, he can't really get much arms master skill, so well he will get to a certain point he can't really get more damage done, he can deal around 100 damage per hit maybe, he can deal very fast damage with the grandmaster dagger which is a good skill and a good weapon actually in this game. And with vampiric daggers you will be very strong. But I think for classes like the knight and the monk. Uh, they really outclass the thief. Damage wise. So I will give the rank of uh, 3 for the thief. Uh, tell me uh, why you disagree with me. Or why you agree with me in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.